Hi guys, this is Daryl at Indigro. Thanks for joining us today. I'm here with Coley Davis. Coley is with Portable Farms Limited. It's an aquaponic gardening system like we've never seen before. Coley's using us for supplemental lighting. If you look to your left here, it is one of our Indigro Pro 420's daylight harvesters. And Coley's system, which I'll explain in a little bit, is a commercial style aquaponic garden that is designed for the larger urban gardener. Uh, as you've seen in our previous videos, we have our master sensor here, which is uh, deciding when enough light's hitting this sensor, it'll shut off one or a hundred lights, or more, it's unlimited. The light itself then will tailor itself to the light levels based on the sun's hitting the back of the fixture. So we have a 12 hour photo period right now. This light's gonna be satisfied, the sensor's about to shut off. Uh, Coley, what can you tell us about the light and your garden? How has it impacted it? The difference that we've noticed is, it's only been here five days. Notice what we've noticed is there's a between a two and a three inch increase in the vegetative growth at the top. Now, these are growing quickly anyway, but we can notice that there's a difference between the center of the light and this front edge. You can actually see there is a difference in the growth simply because there's and the front edge here are not receiving the same amount of light. And we just forced this light to start, Coley. So we're out here at about 250 micromoles. Underneath the light, we'll register uh, 550 to 600 micromoles. So that's a you know three to one difference in terms of light intensities. And the plants are going to respond to that on our current 12 hour photo period that we've set it for. So this is new to you to some new extent. To us. And your aquaponic gardens are new to us. So what makes these type of uh, aquaponic gardens so unique? Mainly because they're they're systematized. We Aquaponics have been around for 4,700 years. All we did was change the package, design the control systems, and design a pump that literally lifts all the weights out of the uh, fish tank. Mm -hmm. And the only part that runs through here is the clear water with the nutrients in it. Plants are happy. You never have to water. You never have to weed. You get this fantastic growth. Feed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you do is feed the fish. And the fish that you prefer are the tilapia, right? The tilapia, yeah. We've used the tilapia mainly because we can in Southern California. Uh, we can get the fry year round. Our preference would basically be catfish. We simply cannot get the young people, uh, the young babies. In, in well, this is a really healthy garden. So it's the fish waste that is creating uh, the perfect environment for this root to uptake. It's a flood and drain, right? You only have to fill it once a day? We Depends on the growth rate. We generally feed, do it once a day. Oftentimes, with this much growth, we run it twice a day just because it needs the nutrient level. So who's the ideal client for this? I'm thinking uh, urban gardens, uh, upscale restaurants, uh, communities. The light went out. Well, the light would go out. That's right. <laughs> Automatically, when it's satisfied that enough sunlight's at the master, it'll shut off just as many of these as you have on that system. By the way, we work those... Uh, main controllers out to cover daily lighting intervals for specific crop types. Oh, So if your okay. crop type needs 30 moles per day, then that one master sensor will supply all of the crops in the greenhouse Excellent. for that particular DLI. Excellent. So, Excellent. Uh, but I'm sorry to interrupt you. So your tilapia is your favorite fish. Right, and our, and our main target, uh, our client, is the commercial grower, who is, would be, in most cases, is either a chef who, and owns a couple of restaurants, uh -huh. or someone who has and in with high-end restaurants, resort hotels, sure. that type of restaurant, or prisons, but they're also good for prisons. Well, they're another reason to get arrested, I guess. <laughs> now, the best, the best plants, I've seen all the leafy greens in here. Kali, why don't you show us a little bit about what you're doing here? I see flowering tomatoes. <clears throat> yep. in, uh, in our situation, what we do is we keep the flowering plants in, in their own tray. The leafy plants are in one tray, the flowering plants in another, because the pH is slightly different between the two. These require a much narrower pH range, uh, and so we make sure that the blossoming plants have everything they need. Turns out it's all in the fish poop. It's all in the fish poop. It's now, fish poop. what makes your system unique is that you do separate the solids from the nutrient-rich water. Yeah. We never have to change. We never have to clean the gravel. Okay. The gravel is never clean. The settling tank is cleaned every two to three months, sometimes four months. And that's uh, organic? It's reusable? It's all organic. We use it on our orchard. <laughs> Now, a lot of people would look at this and say, why are the ambient levels so low in here? But the reason for that has to do with the gravel, right? Yeah. Uh, Daryl asked me about this. Why don't you bring the light level up? It makes the gravel too hot. Okay. And if the hot gravel's hot, it burns the plants. Literally, they will not grow in hot gravel. 
we have to have it a little shadier in here. Okay. But as you can see, it, They're very happy. it doesn't seem to affect the plants much. What's nice about this type of uh, system, it can go anywhere in the world. You anywhere sell worldwide. In the world. And you're climatically controlled based on the environment. If it's in the desert, you want to reduce the temperatures. Or con conversely, if it's in Finland, you would want to raise the temperatures. It's much easier to raise the temperature inside of a building than it is to cool it off. Cooling it off takes a huge amount of electricity. I'll give a shout out to your website. Let our listeners know where they Absolutely. can find out more about you. Uh, we'll go to portablefarm.com forward slash farm or just type in portable farms in the search engine and you'll show up right away. Thank you so much Thank for you. introducing this to our viewers and Thank uh, thanks for stopping in guys.